So if you watch the channel, it's no secret that I'm a fan of Biodynamics. So when I was given the opportunity to check out their Team Tiger streaming bundle, I was intrigued. This is a mic and headphone bundle that does a little bit extra and commands a pretty stout retail. So we're gonna check it out, put it through the paces, see how it stacks up, and see if it's a good fit for you. You ready? Let's go. Yo, I'm Brian P. You're watching Bad Seed Tech, and today we're taking a look at the Team Tiger streaming bundle from Biodynamic. We've got a mic and a headphone bundle together here. So the Fox mic and the Tiger 300R headphone. It's a box full of animals. Yeah. This is a curious outing too, because at the time of this video, the Fox microphone is available for purchase separately, but the Tiger 300R headphone is not. Current pricing on the mic is about $145 standalone. Current pricing on the bundle runs anywhere from like $320 to $350, depending on where you find it. And for transparency, Buyer did send this unit out for review, but as you should know by now, doesn't affect my review in any way. So starting with the Fox mic, this is actually a pretty interesting piece of gear because not only is it a USB large diaphragm condenser microphone, but it also functions as an audio interface or like an external sound card if you're not familiar with the term. And first things first, man, this thing is built tough. It's heavy, stout, metal, it inspires confidence. Design language is German, industrial, very handsome. It feels like it could take a fall. I'm not real keen on trying that though, especially since my floors are laminate over concrete. Carpet though, you'd probably be good. Controls are really simple. On the front, you'll have a button for mute, a headphone jack for monitoring, a volume for the headphone jack, and a mix dial that adjusts the monitoring from the PC or source to your mic. In a studio environment, this is commonly referred to as zero latency monitoring. In a PC or gaming environment, you've probably heard me refer to this feature as side tone. All this means is that you can hear your own voice back to yourself in the headphones, and this little dial here controls how much of your voice or how much of your source you hear. Mic also has a high-low gain switch on the rear of the mic, which I basically just leave it high all the time. Otherwise, I find the signal to be too low to be usable for vocals on low gain. Important to note here that there is no knob for dialing it in. You get two options. Also included is a very clean looking pot filter or diffuser and a stand. The bottom of the mic has a rubberized angled base, which will actually allow that mic to stand on its own. But again, I probably wouldn't risk this. The included stand for me is an area of opportunity. It screws into the bottom of the mic using a standard 3 8 inch thread. The biggest issue with this using it on the desktop is that you really need to be close to this mic to get the full effect because the stand offers no height whatsoever. You're going to find yourself leaning over your desk to make the most of the sound. Like on a laptop in a pinch, if you need to do a quick voiceover or a vocal patch or whatever, it's not the end of the world. But if you're streaming or recording a vocal performance, two things that require pretty specific ergonomics, you're probably gonna want to employ a different mounting option. Due to the standard 3 8 inch threading on the bottom of the mic, this is totally possible. So if you want to use a desktop stand or a boom mic stand, you can do that with a pretty basic 5 8 to 3 8 adapter. Or if you're using something like the Rode PSA1 swivel boom arm, it fits right out of the box with no adapter and actually looks really clean. So this mic will grow with you if you move from a cheap desktop mic stand into a professional boom arm. You can use the tilt mount from the factory stand if you want, but I don't find it necessary. The thing to remember here is that it's still a USB mic. It's got USB-C on the rear of the microphone. You do get an included cable, which is a nice orange braided cable, but it's not particularly long at one meter. Desktop, you may be fine reaching to the rear of your PC. Boom arm, not happening, unless your PC is also on the desk and you have available front USB headers. Otherwise, you'll need to spring for a longer USB-C to USB-A cable. I'll leave a link for a nice cheap one in the description. Setup here is really easy. You just plug it in. Then you go into your window settings and for both your playback and your recording device, make sure that you're set to maximum bit rate there that's going to be 24 bit 96 kilohertz for both i do have to be up front too that the first fox mic unit i received did have a short in the headphone jack where i would only hear my voice in one side or the other on my headphones they replaced it really quick and i have not been able to find any reports online of anybody else having a similar issue and it should be pretty obvious but i do have to point out that the monitoring feature only works if your headphone is plugged directly into the fox mic so if you plan on using this headphone with like a dedicated DAC amp or an external sound card or onboard or whatever you won't be able to hear your voice in your headphones and and speaking of headphones, we've got a very interesting pair here with the Tiger 300R. It's not a gaming headset. This is a gaming headphone from a company that knows how to make some serious headphones. There's no software, there's no EQ, there's no simulated surround sound, there's no inline controls, and there's obviously no mic because it's bundled with and intended to be used with the Fox microphone. It's the classic biodynamic design here. These are open back, 32 ohms. You can drive these with pretty much anything. No amp necessary, but they do respond well to some power. The outer grille looks very similar to the DT880. The cable is permanently attached, which is kind of a bummer at this price point. It's straight, rubberized, 1.6 meters with a quarter inch adapter if you need it. This is easily the most comfortable buyer headphone I've used yet. One of the most comfortable headphones I've used, period. And that's a combo of like four different factors. The headband is very soft, padded, and it's replaceable using a Velcro closure like you see on the custom one, as opposed to the snaps that you see on some other models. The ear pads are black velour, lighter density than what you'd find on certain editions of the 880 and the 990 
anxiety as they don't really need to provide any kind of seal or isolation. For the same reason, clamping force is also very minimal, literally just enough to keep them on your head and nothing more. They're also pretty light at around 290 grams on my scale, and they breathe really well. I haven't had any issues with heat buildup at all. These are the first buyers I've worn that feel like they just disappear on your head. These are lighter clamping force even than the 990 Pro. I can and have literally worn these all day, and you'll want to wear them all day too because they sound phenomenal. I haven't heard a DT880 in ages, but these sound very close to my DT990 Pro 250 ohm with a few notable exceptions. Base between the two is pretty much spot on. Mids here are still full, but they feel pushed back a little further in the mix on this headphone versus the 990. And the highs, if you're one of those people that finds the DT990 to be too harsh or sibilant, you won't find that here. You will trade some of the brightness, some of the high-end clarity of the 990 in exchange for that smoothness. But what you're trading is a bit of clarity for a lot of smoothness. These use the thicker pads over the driver that I first saw on the 177X Go. I'm a big fan of Buyer's House sound, and that's what these deliver here without a bunch of fake extreme tuning. In gaming, bass hits when it needs to, and it stays out of the way when it needs to. There's not much to say about imaging here. Buyer nails that. And soundstage? exceptional. Yes, wider than the DT990. It's actually right up there with the K7XX, which is saying a lot. And again, this headphone manages to do all this without needing a dedicated headphone amp because it's designed to work with the Fox mic. But don't let that stop you from trying it with a dedicated headphone amp. It makes great use of power. It's awesome for single player experiences, and it's a very good music listening headphone as well. Just be careful not to overload it with too much power, or you do run the risk of introducing some distortion there. And I feel like I have to address this because somebody always asks every time I review an open back headphone, no, you don't have to worry about about the sound leak coming back into your microphone. They're literally bundled together. Honestly, the fact that these both come bundled together is the only negative thing I can say about this headphone. If the Tiger 300R was available for separate purchase at a price point anywhere from like 140 to 160, it would be an easy recommend for one of, if not the best gaming headphone out there. Top three, easy. And that's what makes this bundle a tough sell. It's not that you don't get a lot for your money, you definitely do. It's just that the intended audience feels pretty narrow. This feels like a great option for somebody who's like starting a podcast that doesn't know or can't be bothered to learn a whole lot about gear. You just plug it into your laptop and go. It's also a great option for a new streamer who's more into the games than the gear, especially a single PC streamer. This can prevent you from having to buy a separate mic, headphone, and interface. Potential limitation here being that if you ever do move up to a dual PC streaming situation where you're using a traditional mixer board or like a Go XLR, you're going to find a situation where you have to run a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack to your board and use the USB to keep the mic powered. It's a workaround. It's not entirely unusable, but it's pretty clunky. If you happen to fit the use case for a bundle like this, there's a lot to like here. I'd really like to see a more functional stand, a detachable cable on the headphone, and a longer USB cable for the mic. The mic feels built tough enough too to where I'll probably travel with this and a laptop to any offsite events I attend in the future. I would be careful packing that pop filter though. Honestly, I don't know how this mic stacks up to like a Blue Yeti or the HyperX Quadcast, but I can tell you that if you find yourself needing an audio solution to start creating or streaming, a quality point A to point B idiot-proof solution, and you find yourself intimidated by talks about like DAC amps and ohm ratings, pickup patterns, phantom power, mixer boards, this is absolutely for you. Everything you need in one box ready to go. Just do yourself a favor and spend a few extra bucks on a cheap desktop stand and a longer USB cable. I'll leave some options linked in the description below. Big thanks to Buyer Dynamic for sending this out. I will leave affiliate links in the description and prices on this bundle do seem to be dropping, so keep your eye on it if you're interested. Any questions at all over anything I covered today, hit me up in the comments if you're watching on YouTube or drop by the Discord and the audio channel and we'll try to get you fixed up. And that's it for this time. I'm Brian P. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. Hit that sub button. And until next time, stay up.